everybody. So I thought I would record a tutorial today using the Urban Decay Electric Palette. This really fun, sort of bright, but still dark sort of look with some of these really gorgeous colors. Uh, I was going to talk throughout it, but my neighbor's doing all kinds of remodeling and it got really loud. So I just, I'm going to do an overvoice, but yeah, let's jump right into this tutorial. Okay, so I'm taking an Urban Decay liner in the shade Electric, and I'm putting that about one-third on my lid. Not all the way to the halfway point, but almost. And I'm just building that up to the intensity level that I wanted. It's a, a light sky blue. It's very pretty. It's very perfect as a base. And I'm not too worried about precision. Now I'm taking Chaos, and I'm just going to... Uh, start where I ended with electric and I'm just gonna take it about two-thirds not all the way to the end but almost and like I said not too worried about precision I'm just worried about getting the color on and getting it to the intensity I want I'm gonna blend it out later with shadows and stuff so not too worried I'm also carrying it into the crease above electric a little bit not all the way 100% over but I'm doing that a little bit now I'm taking a brush and I'm going in with Gonzo and I'm going to go over that inner corner shade with elect that inner electric liner. I'm just patting that over it and now I'm going into Chaos and I'm going to go over Chaos liner with the Shadow Chaos. Perfect match and everything being the same shade name. I'm carrying it slightly over Gonzo and electric just patting it and Checking and seeing that's about what I want it. Now I'm taking Rockstar, which is a deep, deep purple. One of my favorite purples. And I'm creating a triangle with that out in the outer corner. Just drawing out a little triangle, winging it out. Not a lot, just a little bit. And, you know, just filling that triangle in and everything. Like I said, this is just a deep eggplant. Now I'm going over that with Jilted. And I'm going over it, and I'm blending onto it, and I'm also going to carry that over it and around it and blend it up and make, you know, that wing out and triangle just a hair bigger with jilted, as I said. And I'm just using a flat shader brush. This really isn't anything outstanding or shocking. Just, like I said, wing that out. And I'm taking a fluffy crease brush, and I'm taking Buck from Urban Decay. This is a matte brown. It's a great blending transitional color. It's, you know, it's perfect to pop in the crease, especially with brighter colors like this. It'll help them blend out and smooth the edges out and stuff. And, you know, I'm going to be going over it with other shades, but it's just, you know, it helps blend everything out a little bit. I'm using Urban now, and I'm going right on top of Buck into the crease, carrying it over the outer part of that jilted wing. I'm going back in for a little more product, and I'm just, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm putting that right in the crease. Right where I put Buck. Now I'm taking Slow Burn, which is a corally red color. And I'm just putting that a little bit onto Urban, but mainly over Urban. I'm taking that right over and, you know, putting it over with the wing and everything. Going back in with a little bit of Urban to just add a little more of it. Making sure it's all even going back and forth. You know, look in my mirror, check and make sure it's even. This is what, you know, you should have. I wanted a little darker, so I'm going to go back in with Rockstar Liner. And I'm going to just take the same brush and sort of blend that back out because I don't want it too harsh. Flat brush and um, MAC Yogurt, actually. Just a matte pinky flesh tone, and I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. And to sort of blend the edges of slow burn and everything else out, making it all nice and pretty. That's what we should have for the eyes there wanted a little more blended, so I just took a bare Real Technique crease brush, blending over it. Now I'm taking a MAC 231 and Freak, and I'm going to put that right on that inner corner. I'm working it up a little bit into the crease, but I'm mainly focusing it on that inner corner slash tear duct area. Just gives it a little something something. I really like this shade, and I really like doing this with a bright look like this, popping another color right in there. And I'm just a small brush I've got to go back in a couple times and really build up. And that's what we should have. Now I'm taking my Milani iTech and I'm doing a wing with it. I'm just going to be a little bit thicker, but I'm not carrying it all the way in. I'm only carrying it to about the center of my eye. 
sort of where the pupil and iris is, that's where I'm taking it. And I'm just building it slowly as one should. Taking my time, not rushing it. And, you know, just being precise with it because I don't want it too dramatic, but I don't want it too thin. Sort of a medium wing, if you will. Checking, making sure it's all even. Liking that it's all even and dancing a little bit to music. While I figure out what I'm going to do next, which is Sabbath. I looked out of frame for that, so I took Urban Decay Sabbath and I put that on the outer lower lash line. Blended it out a little bit to make it a little smudgy. Taking that 231 brush and I'm just going over it with the product that was already on it. Now I'm dipping into Fringe and I'm putting Fringe on top of Sabbath and all the way from where Sabbath ended all the way to where Freak began. And just it, it's going to give dimension because it's going to blend with the colors that are, well, with the color Sabbath that's already there. But it's also going to add a little bright. And there you have the finished eye look. Now just really finishing the look off with mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just putting little bit on just working it through my lashes. I love this mascara. It really is an incredible mascara. And I'm also just gonna use that on my bottom lash line. And there you have the finished look. Okay, so after I finished my eyes, I did my NARS Radiant Cream Foundation. Uh, Blush-wise, I did some of the Urban Decay Bittersweet. I went a little dramatic with that, but I'm liking it. I glowed that up with some Balm Mary Luminizer. And then, because I've got so much going on with the eyes and cheeks, I did a more toned down lip. I used a e.l.f. color, matte lip color stick thing in the shade Coral. And I did the Bomb Pop Coral Lip Gloss over that. So that it's not all dramatic all over the place. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.